Hey there, there is a video that is floating around showing a campus police officer being clueless about the First Amendment, being clueless about freedom of speech, and he is, shows him and another officer supporting him, writing a ticket because this preacher guy, who acts like the people from Westboro Baptist Church, are spewing their hate. You know, right next to a college campus. And, you know, the officer was stupid. The officer doesn't know the laws and acts like he does, you know. But the thing is, it was taken to court and the charges were removed. Um, and the officer was reprimanded. And it, the team of officers that that officer was a part of were schooled on what the First Amendment is about. So, you know, this was a singular incident. But people are saying, oh, it's the end of free speech. Oh, look, this is awful. Well, yeah, it is awful what happened, but um, the eventual outcome, uh, you know, this, this isn't going to continue, you know? But one of the things that bothers me about the way that this situation is being presented is that... Um, oh, it's all about the fact that, that the word penis and anus were said. It's like, uh, no, that's not the reason. It was the intent behind what was being said. And these religious people can claim, oh, it's, it's about spreading the word of God. No, it's spreading hate. It's flat out spreading hate. And that's not illegal. But give me a break. You know, this isn't about certain words being used. Now, maybe that officer tried to tout it as if that's what it was for, but I think he was trying to avoid a big rigmarole with uh, uh, saying bad things about religion and having a big, you know, brouhaha over that. But instead, people had a big brouhaha over the fact that he even was writing a ticket in the first place. Um... But, are people really going to be that upset over this sort of thing that is being... People are upset because the Westboro Baptist Church kind of mindset is being squandered. I mean, you're so upset over that that this officer did, but we're not upset over um, police shooting an unarmed black person who did not run away. You know, there are lots of, uh, there's lots of footage of that sort of thing, of people who didn't run away. They surrendered. They didn't really do anything to deserve being shot, but there they, they got shot. Or police shooting someone who's retarded or you know all these other things oh no no outrage over that but let's be completely outraged over someone uh stopping a Westboro Baptist style preacher from uh preaching that hate really where are your priorities are those really your priorities? Seriously? Are those really your priorities? Now, Grant, you know, I get it. I get it. You don't want freedom of speech to be squandered. Okay, fine. In the end, it wasn't. The charges were dropped, 
and that should have been the end of it. But uh, oh well, it's on. It's it's on. It's been recorded. I was gonna say it's on film, but that's it's not on film. <laughs> um, but it was recorded. But people are acting like, oh, this is going on all the time. Uh, no, it isn't. This isn't going on all the time. This was one stupid officer. And now it's blown up into this huge thing. Come on, people. This is just, this just seems to be outrage mainly from the right. Because they think that hateful messages are somehow okay. Now, I'm not saying they should be illegal, but um, it, it's like, it's, it's an attempt to make the hateful messages not look as hateful. When you can have people spewing that kind of shit, and also a bunch of misogynistic shit that comes with it, well, I guess you're going to have all these, all these anti-feminists, uh, y you know, thinking that that's cool for them to say those things because, you know, they, the, uh, the enemy of your enemy is your friend, right? That whole enemy of your enemy is your friend b bullshit is simply that, is bullshit. This would be like the gay community welcoming NAMBLA with open arms. Because look, they're against some of these things too. See? See? This would be like um, supporting the, the KKK because uh, they don't like uh, they don't like racism against white people very much either, so you know Oh, you gotta support the KKK, right? Gotta support those religious fundamentalists spewing the same kind of shit as Westboro Baptist Church. Because, you know, they speak against some of the same things you speak against, so you should come together. Athe uh, you know, extreme atheist, uh, uh, anti-feminist should, should come together with religious fundamentalists because you look at all the wonderful things you have in common. It's the same kind of message that Psy 10 Atheist put out about how there are similarities between feminism uh, as it's been practiced on social media. I'm not going to say this about all feminism, but feminism as, been, as it has been practiced on social media and uh, uh, Muslim fundamentalists, you know? Well, in this case, it's, it's anti-feminists and people that are like Westboro Baptist Church. Congratulations! Congratulations!